gonna scroll down, check this out. Uh, Herpa Premium, one two hundred American Airlines, A three hundred, six hundred, super rare. This is an expensive model, eleven hundred ninety nine Australian, one thousand seventy nine Canadian, plus uh, some shipping of thirty eight eighty eight. Uh, this is Harper Premium Series. There's 34 people watching, and they're probably watching because they're like, "Oh my God, is somebody actually going to buy this for that much money?" Uh, I'm not going to lie; it looks like a pretty beautiful model. Uh, it's in great shape, but again, I I don't know. I think uh, I think if it was a little bit better, maybe a little bit cleaner than this, maybe you could get away with a little bit more than 500 bucks. But thousands pretty expensive. But hey, it's a beautiful looking model. Um, if you got the money, go ahead and I guess buy it. I'm not, I don't think I have anything bad to say about it. Uh, doesn't look like it's in bad shape at all. Everything looks pretty original. And all right, we're gonna go to one of our more expensive models of the day, Pokemon Jet Airplane Model Rare, one 200 limited. Uh, only $730 Canadian, approximately. Go through here, this looks like a, uh, looks like a pretty nice model. It's clearly the flaps up edition of the model. Let's scroll over a little bit, there's a few images. Looks great, let's see what this says. And description, uh, thank you for vis visiting our page. Uh, talks more about the shipping, not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of information on the model itself, but the price, uh, 550 US or 730 Canadian. I'm gonna quickly take a look online again. Online at a, an Australian website, you can purchase this exact same model for $212 uh, Australian, which is around 200 Canadian, and I don't know, maybe that's 175 or 160 American, something like that. Just remember to keep your eye open everywhere when you're looking for these models because even if they're rare in some people's opinion you may be able to find them somewhere else here's an interesting model that some of you actually might be interested in 775 dollars canadian plus 131 shipping it looks like it would be pretty expensive it's a usaf presidential collection of 1 200 models if these are actually 1 200 models that's uh that's amazing uh to have this onto your desk um, I'm not interested myself, but um, I don't think I have too much to complain about this thing. It says it's brand new in the box. Um, painstakingly built from Philippine mahogany wood. So it looks like it's wood as opposed to any die cast or anything. So, uh, but yeah, if you are interested in something like this thing, definitely. Definitely. Here's another interesting model. SM200, I believe this is a custom model maker. I had one of their l 1011s this is interesting, it's American Airlines in a uh, <laughs> 787 with what looks like a chrome, but it's uh, some kind of special paint, so I believe if American had lots of money they could look into building something like this, but uh, it's definitely worth a look. I think the price is way too expensive though, $1,200 for this model, probably not a good idea, but hey, maybe you can talk the guy down. Oh, $2,656 for this Northwest 747-200, condition new, like new my ass! Look at this, it's missing three engines, three engines. And there's nothing noted about that in here. Look at this, nothing about missing engines, just that it's in mint condition. All right, now onto something that I'm just trying to figure out what the hell it is. Vintage half tin toy plane, Northwest Orient. Oh my God, look at this. Nice, nice titles guys. Northwest is in red. Oh, I got Northwest right on the one wing, which apparently has bricks all over it. The logo is not even right on the wing either. It's not even like a real thing. Why did they use yellow on the bottom half of this piece of crap? Look at this. What the? Uh, what is this? This isn't even an airplane. It doesn't even closely represent the aircraft that's trying to represent. Oh my goodness gracious! Anything wrong? What? Look! It looks like a freaking boot. Somebody kicked it in the front, and it is a boot because it's a piece of crap. But hey, if you want to buy it, go ahead. Let's see. What does it say? Used, but in very Use vintage half plastic toy. Wheels move no problem. Well, of course they do because they're way too freaking big for the airplane anyway. This is ridiculous. All right, let's take a look at this super rare Gemini 200 DHL Boeing 757. Only $662.97 plus $28 shipping. If we look at this thing closely, it's super rare. So we have somebody picking whether something's rare or not, which I don't know. Scrolling down to see this thing. Let's see the description. Model is in mint condition. Original front landing gear is broken again. Model comes with replacement gear. Hmm, let's take a look at the photos really quickly on this one. So this gear is broken. It's a used model. They're gonna replace it with this gear, which might actually work, but you see, I'm, I'm just, I just, again, guys who have things that are broken and you replace parts on them, you just can't sell them for the original price times like 500. 